The gospel is a scandal. Let me explain that. The gospel is a scandal. Do you know, have you ever thought about the, the thief that was next to Jesus who um, committed all types of bad things and then in one second he believed in Christ and Christ said, today you will be in paradise with me. Think about this for a second. When they had in biblical times, when they were hanging someone, did you know that it was not a private thing, it was a public thing. Can you imagine the victims of this thug, of this thief on the cross? If I'm a family member and he has wronged me, I'm going to want him to pay for what he did. And so here I am, I'm smiling, he's about to die. And I'm overhearing a conversation between him and Jesus. He repents. He gives his life to Jesus. And Jesus says, today, you will be in heaven with me. The gospel can be scandalous. Let's say that this is you and I. Right? We're, cre we're, we're created in an image and in the likeness of God. This is you and I. Let's say this is sin. Sin has a dark power to pollute us. Sin has a power to bring us to, to hell. And let's say this is the blood of Jesus. What happens is sin, when it enters your life, it contaminates. And so when it enters into your life, you know, it's there for a little bit. And then the more you sin, the more it contaminates. The more the sin contaminates, the more you sin, the more things you, you say that are not true, the more you lie, the more you steal, the more you 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 give in to your temptations, the more you, you do all these things, it, it pollutes you. That's the power of sin. It, it pollutes our lives. But what the power of the blood does, when sin comes, the power that the Bible says, I want you to read this verse in 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. It says, but if we are living in the light, as God is the light, then we have fellowship with each other, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from one sin. From one sin? From two sins? Is it from two sins? It cleanses us from, from how many sins? From all sins. So when we confess, when we repent, and we accept the power of the blood, what it does, it comes in and it cleans our lives. Uh, and what I would have read. He comes as white as I don't know about you, but that's good. I don't know about you, but that's the power of the blood. The blood, it gives me strength. If you're looking for strength, it is found in the blood. If you're looking for strength, it is found in the blood of Jesus. I'm here to tell you, when you're reminded of the blood, when you're reminded of the power of the blood, all your problems, all of the things that are wrong, all of the sin, it doesn't
What is it? You think your little problem is enough to overpower the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross? It's nothing. 